Lots of church people know that. Lots of Christian people know that. Lots of people in relationship with God. Lots of people who don't even believe in God. They know weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That heart is famous. And liquid prayers, in a lot of ways, is celebrating the power that's inside of these two rooms. Sing to the Lord, all oh, you saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holy name. Like when you look at those two verses, it's literally like if you belong to God, then I want you to do these three things. And it's um, sing to Him, remember His name, and give Him thanks. These three things. <laughs> Singing to him, remembering his name, and giving his him thanks is how you find that joy in the morning. Right? Because these are the three things that are put in front of us before we get to weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. How? Sing to him, give him thanks, and remember his name. Because you know, sometimes as a writer, you have to chase down the words. They don't always find you easily. Sometimes you have to fight for the story you want to tell and the message you want to share. That's writing. <laughs> Sometimes you have to chase down your joy. You have to fight for the joy you want to feel and the joy you want to live in. Okay. So singing to him, you know what it does? It puts you in a place of worship because there are some seasons when all you have to keep your head together is your song. So my God, you need to find a song that is going to build you up and not tear you down. Because I know what it feels like to be broken and choose a song to match the broken, to match the pain. But this is what I learned the hard way. If you choose a song to match the pain, at first it feels good because it's that what I feel like and I'm not the only one the problem is if you live there then you are feeding the pain and I want to feed the healing so when he says if you want more in joy you're gonna need to sing to him remember his name and give him thanks then the singing feeds the healing the, because the singing feeds your spirit with things from his spirit right the most powerful thing is to sing his word in the middle of your situation because you're going to be speaking to where you want to be and not to where you are right it's going to shift your focus to that heal place that you're going to to that joy place that you're going to instead of keeping your focus on that broken place that you're in right now it's how you have hope and chaos sing to his name it's not a small direction it was said quickly after his life experiences and then we can skip over it but just pause a minute and sit in it simple sing to the lord if you want to simple action you can sing to the lord i find that when i sing to god first before i complain to my friends i don't complain to my friends as long i don't become the person who always has a problem do you know what i said because there's joy in my life, even when it's not perfect. In Psalms 30 verse 4, in the Hebrew, when it says, remember his name, in those verses in Psalms 30, um, the name that comes up is Yahweh. When I remember the name of Yahweh, it, Yahweh is the proper name of the one true God. So when I remember that, it's respect. It's intimacy because Yahweh means knowledge and use of them. Yahweh means um, when you use that name, it implies a relationship. <laughs> so when I remember the part of Yahweh, I remembering his name, it shifts my perspective because remembering the name of Yahweh reminds me that I met this personal relationship that I have with God. He cares about what's happening to me and he uses his power and his influence to help me. I'm no longer limited by my power. Because sometimes I don't have the power to see past the front door. So I need God's power to see past today. Amen, okay, I just, amen, thank you. Look at this, 
Oh my God. God. The third thing he said was give him thanks. So you're going to sing to him, you're going to remember his name, and you're going to give him thanks. Um, you're going to place your gratitude on him. You're acknowledging the good in your life that's on God. <laughs> that comes from you, God. I see you, God. Thank you, God. Right? You're acknowledging that it's you and not just me. What? What? And it changes the game. When you start thanking him, even when you don't think that you have enough, joy finds you. But the first piece of favor that floods my life, because I did these three things, is that joy comes in for me. So because I sing your name, sing to you, Lord and I remember your name, and I thank you. <laughs> Joy is coming for me in the morning. Because you know when you choose, once you get grown, and you start choosing relationships, you know, sometimes you choose a mess. Sometimes you miss signals, the warning, you ignore the wisdom, and sometimes you choose the mess. And when you choose to take all of that mess to God, then you start choosing a blessing. You start choosing a healing. You choose the joy in the morning. I don't even, oh my God, your word oh says, weeping may endure for a night. But joy. Joy comes in the morning. Sometimes all you have is your song to comfort you. That's what liquid prayers was for me. Acknowledging that sometimes when I prayed, it was spoken. And sometimes when I prayed, it was chanted. And sometimes when I prayed, it was music. So I don't believe every type of music heals you. I don't. But I believe that if the message, the right message is in the music, then God can use it to remove it. That's what I believe. And Liquid Prayers was celebrating the music that he sent me, that was used to heal me. And my prayers, they melted, and they became like liquid, and they turned into music, and they turned into songs, and they turned in to healing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you for that. For that joy that comes. So yeah, I'll make that decision. Even in pain, I will sing to you, God. Even in pain, I will remember your name. Even in pain, I will give you thanks. And when I have everything Thing that I want in life, I will sing to you, God. When I'm living in all of my blessings, I will remember your name. When I am overwhelmed with living desires, being a part of my everyday life, I give you thanks. Those are the three steps for the joy can meet you in the morning in every season, every season. Dear God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence and your promises. Thank you. For your words. Your word says, weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. So I declare, I declare right now, I declare right now, right now, right now joy flood her life. Joy over her life. That joy floods her and that it finds her every morning. That your joy finds her every morning and that it splits through the pain of any night. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
When you control your emotions and you don't let other people do it, then you own the moment. You own your own voice. You own your peace. You own your life. But if somebody else controls how you feel, then they have the power to control you any moment they feel like it. So yeah, I believe in the power of mirror talk moments where I remind myself who I am in spite of what I face out there today. I'm holding on to my peace today. No matter what I think they think about me today. No matter what they actually say. No matter what they actually say. I'm remaining calm.